Oh no, the rope busted on the boots. I'm David Rose, and this is my new video series, David Does, where I'm going to explore new interesting topics, travel to cool cities, try things that I've never done before, or just show all of you the wild and crazy things that I do all the time. Exploring videography in this way is something that I have been interested in, but I felt like I never had the right purpose or intent to actually do it. And so now here I am with this opportunity to record and get some new equipment and try things out and really try to find something new. One of the first videos that I have on my list is to do David Does Wakeboarding. I've been doing wakeboarding for maybe 18 years or something for quite a while. And it's something that takes practice. It's not a hobby you can pick up in a day but it is so rewarding and very challenging, super fun. And let me show you how to do it. With wakeboarding, there's a few key steps involved. Of course, the first step is you gotta have the right equipment. So there's some things you'll need. The very first thing you'll need is a good wakeboarding boat. With any wakeboarding boat, it has to have tons of torque, tons of horsepower. I, I wish I knew what those things are, but you just gotta have a lot of it. With a great wakeboarding boat, you really should have a wakeboarding tower. It tends to be a little bit easier with maneuverability if you have a wakeboarding tower. A lot of times people just secure the rope to the back of the boat near the engine compartment. There's usually a hook there, but wakeboarding tower, great thing to have. And finally, you'll need a wakeboard and a life vest. Wakeboard, you want one that has pull strings like shoelaces, if you will. That's gonna keep your feet secured to the board. So now that we have what we need, let's go cruise around the lake for a bit. Let's get ready to wakeboard. Step one, attach the rope. At the end of the wakeboarding rope is a lasso. So secure that to your wakeboarding tower. Step two, secure the wakeboard. Every wakeboard is a little different, but find the way to secure your feet snugly within the boots and then tighten the rope as much as you can. And be careful about tightening too much, you'll see. Oh no, the rope busted on the boots. Uh, yeah, so that's unfortunate. Step three, grab the rope. Pretty simple. Grab the handle and you're ready to hop in the water. Step four, this is important. Knees in, arms straight. And finally, step five, we're ready to go. Ready?
Yeah. Like my Can you get it? Yeah. Okay, so not too bad, right? Here's the recap. You'll need three simple things. Wakeboarding boat, wakeboard, and life vest. In terms of those steps again, step one, attach the rope. Step two, secure the board. Step three, grab the rope. Step four, knees in, arms straight. And step five, say ready. Now you're ready for wakeboarding. Before we go, we're gonna make a stop at the beach. It's a cool spot to just chill on the beach, hang out in the sun, and dock the boat a little bit. And it's, it's actually kind of cool because you're walking on sand about waist high, sometimes even neck high, deep water, and it's really fun. It's a great spot.